Our journey begins with the Airbus A350, a marvel of modern aviation, born from a fusion of design ingenuity and engineering prowess. This isn't just an aircraft, it's a testament to human achievement, a symbol of our relentless pursuit of the skies. The Airbus A350 is no ordinary airliner. Its key features set it apart from the rest. It's designed to provide unparalleled comfort and efficiency. With its wide-body, twin-engine design, the A350 can transport hundreds of passengers across the globe, all while consuming 25% less fuel than its counterparts. That's what we call a win-win for both the airlines and our environment. But the A350 isn't just about efficiency, it's also about enhancing the passenger experience. The cabin is meticulously designed to offer maximum comfort, Larger windows let in more natural light, while advanced air management systems ensure passengers breathe cleaner, fresher air. Even the noise levels are significantly lower, making for a quieter, more enjoyable flight. The Airbus. A 350's design is a masterclass in form-following function. Every curve, every line, every detail is there for a reason, meticulously crafted to ensure optimum performance. The wings, for example, are designed with an innovative curved shape to reduce drag and increase fuel efficiency. The fuselage, made predominantly of lightweight carbon fiber reinforced polymer, is both stronger and lighter than traditional materials, contributing to the A350's remarkable fuel efficiency. But the importance of design in aircraft manufacturing extends beyond the plane itself. It's also about designing a manufacturing process that's as efficient and sustainable as the aircraft it produces. Airbus has long been a leader in this area, continuously refining its production methods to minimize waste and reduce its environmental footprint. So how do they transform these designs into a massive flying machine? It's time to dive into the manufacturing process. Of particular importance to the production of the A350 are the sites in France, Spain, Germany and Great Britain. The nose and midsection come from the Saint-Nazaire plant, the tail section from Hamburg. The wings are manufactured in Broughton and Bremen, the horizontal tailplane in Getafe. All of these shipments must be perfectly coordinated. Head of the unit, Nabil Tahiri. Even when everything is running smoothly, the A350 still has to go through seven stations. With 120 aircraft a year, this demands absolute perfection. Everything begins in Station 59. The first stage of the final assembly line. Around 40 workers fit out the fuselage with the large components of the passenger cabin, such as the galley and washrooms. Nine such fuselage segments can be worked on in parallel here. Imagine a giant jigsaw puzzle with each piece crafted to perfection that's what the Airbus A350 begins as. In the world of aviation, the manufacturing process of an aircraft is a symphony of craftsmanship, precision, and cutting-edge technology. It all begins with the production of individual parts, each one an essential piece of the puzzle that will eventually become the Airbus A350. The first step in this intricate journey is the selection of materials. The Airbus A350 is a marvel of modern engineering, making use of advanced materials such as aluminum and composite materials. Aluminum, known for its light weight and high strength, forms the backbone of the aircraft. But the true game changer is the use of composite materials. Comprising over half of the A350 structure, these materials are lighter, stronger, and more corrosion resistant than traditional metals. Once the materials are chosen, they are shaped and sized to precise specifications. This is done using a combination of traditional craftsmanship and state-of-the-art machinery. Each part, whether it's a wing spar or a tiny bolt, is meticulously designed and crafted to ensure it fits perfectly within the overall structure of the aircraft. This process is not just about creating parts. It's about ensuring that each component can withstand the immense pressures and stresses that come with flight. It's about guaranteeing that every single piece, no matter how small, can perform its function flawlessly. 6.30 in the morning. Team briefing at the start of the shift. Fifteen workers, mostly electricians and installation technicians, divide up the day's tasks amongst themselves. They have to install the galleys, washrooms, and crew rest compartments. The production of these parts is a feat of engineering in itself, but it's just the beginning of the story. Once the parts are ready, they are carefully cataloged and stored, 
awaiting their turn to be assembled into the larger structure. Each piece, no matter how insignificant it may seem, plays a crucial role in the creation of the Airbus A350. Workers, mostly electricians and installation technicians, divide up the day's tasks amongst themselves. They have to install the galleys, washrooms, and crew rest compartments. Any special requests from the airlines are incorporated here too. The outfitting work is performed on all fuselage sections and shifts. This way, no team has to wait for another. In the tail section of a future A350, two workers make preparations for the installation of the galley. Assembly instructions individually pack screws. It all resembles a bit like a flat pack wardrobe from a furniture store. It's not as simple as it looks. It's very different to screwing together an IKEA bookshelf. That would be great, but it isn't like that, unfortunately. It takes highly trained craftsmen. Even the smallest of installations can affect the safety of the finished aircraft. As such, special expertise is required for every single operation. It takes months and often years to train our workers. In contrast with a cupboard from a furniture store, it's critical that nothing can shift, even during the most severe turbulence. No screw may fail. A big responsibility for the workers. With thousands of parts ready, it's time to bring them together. The next stage of the process is the assembly, where these individual components are brought together to create something truly remarkable, an Airbus A350, ready to take to the skies. This is where the magic happens. In massive assembly lines, the Airbus A350 starts to take shape. Imagine a well-choreographed ballet, where each performer knows their role down to the slightest movement. That's the level of precision and coordination required in these assembly lines. These aren't just any assembly lines, these are the birthplaces of the Airbus A350, one of the most advanced commercial aircraft in the world. In this colossal dance of engineering, the first step is the joining of the fuselage or the aircraft's body. Work on the fuselage sections continues without a break. They are, after all, expected to fly away soon. Next up is Station 50 of the final assembly line. The fuselage sections are now ready for their big moment, the so-called marriage. Waiting at Station 50 are Deputy Unit Head Arnaud Herry and Team Manager Wilfried Martin. They have the nose section for an A350 maneuvered into the hangar. 53% of the A350 is composed of carbon composite. It's 40% lighter than aluminum and allows much more complex shapes. Each layer consists of super thin plies of carbon fiber embedded in a synthetic resin matrix. And there are several layers, a process that takes a few days. In the aviation industry, composites are viewed as the materials of the future. This isn't just sticking pieces together. It's a meticulous process of aligning sections of the fuselage with remarkable precision. Every bolt, every rivet, every seam is checked and double-checked to ensure absolute perfection. Next come the wings, the very essence of flight. These aren't just slabs of metal. They are complex structures filled with fuel tanks, control surfaces, and miles of wiring. Joining them to the fuselage is a task that requires the utmost accuracy and care. Then the tail assembly, a crucial component that provides stability and control during flight, is mounted. The vertical and horizontal stabilizers, along with the rudder and elevators, need to be affixed with the same level of exactness as the rest of the aircraft. Each step in this process is a marvel to behold, a testament to human ingenuity and the power of collaboration. It's a symphony of skill and technology, where hundreds of people and machines work in harmony to create something truly magnificent.
Each piece, each component has a place and a purpose. And as they come together, as the fuselage joins with the wings and tail, the Airbus A350 starts to take form. It begins to resemble the sleek, powerful machine it will soon become. The assembly line is where the magic happens, where an assortment of parts becomes something much more. It's where a pile of metal transforms into a marvel of modern aviation. As the aircraft comes together, it begins to resemble the powerful machine it will soon become. Now it's time for the Airbus A350 to get its iconic look. Our journey continues with a transformation that is as necessary as it is aesthetic, the painting process. This isn't just about slapping on some color, but rather it's a meticulous procedure that serves a dual purpose. First, the aircraft is prepared for painting. This involves a thorough cleaning to ensure that the surface is spotless. Next, a primer coat is applied. This protective layer shields the aircraft from the elements, combating corrosion and providing a smooth base for the color coat. Once the primer is dry, the color coat is applied. This isn't just any paint, it's a specialized product designed to withstand the extreme conditions of flight, from the blistering heat of the sun to the sub-zero temperatures at cruising altitude. The paint also has to be lightweight, as every extra pound can impact fuel efficiency. The final touch in the painting process is the application of the airline's livery. This is where the aircraft gets its distinctive look, proudly displaying the airline's colors and logo. But the transformation doesn't stop here. Inside the aircraft, another meticulous process is underway, the interior fitting. This is where the Airbus A350 starts to feel like the luxurious and comfortable aircraft we all know. The cabin is installed with everything from seats and overhead bins to galleys and lavatories. Each component is carefully selected and positioned according to the airline's specifications. Whether it's a state-of-the-art entertainment system or a plush business class seat, every detail is designed to enhance the passenger's experience. This stage also involves rigorous testing to ensure everything functions as it should. After all, comfort and luxury mean nothing without safety. To sum up, painting and interior fitting transform the Airbus A350 from a remarkable feat of engineering into an icon of the skies. It's not just about making the aircraft look good, but also about ensuring it's ready to deliver a superior flying experience. The Airbus A350 is now looking like the luxurious and comfortable aircraft we all know. Before an Airbus A350 can take to the skies, it must pass rigorous testing. It's a process that leaves no stone unturned, ensuring that the aircraft meets all safety and performance standards. First, the A350 undergoes a series of static tests. These are designed to evaluate the aircraft's structure under various loads and conditions. The wing flex test, for example, pushes the wings to their limit, simulating the extreme forces they may encounter during flight. Next, it's time for the engine tests. The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines, the power behind the A350, are tested for their performance, reliability, and safety. These tests involve running the engines at full power, testing them in extreme weather conditions, and conducting emergency shutdowns to ensure they respond as expected. The aircraft then proceeds to the taxiing tests. This is where the Airbus A350 is driven on the ground at various speeds to test the brakes, steering, and other ground handling systems. It's a crucial step to ensure the aircraft can safely navigate the hustle and bustle of an airport. But the testing doesn't stop there. The A350 is then taken to the skies for its maiden test flight. This is the moment where all the components come together and the aircraft is tested in its natural environment. It's a comprehensive evaluation examining everything from the performance of the engines to the functionality of the in-flight systems. Once the Airbus A350 has successfully passed all these tests, it's ready for the final step, delivery. This is where the aircraft is handed over to the airline. It's a momentous occasion, marking the end of the aircraft's journey from design to reality and the beginning of its life in the skies. And there you have it, the journey of an Airbus A350 from design to delivery. Next time you fly, you'll know just what it took to create the aircraft carrying you to your destination. Don't forget to subscribe to Flight Realities for more aviation insights.